you know, guys, when you read a piece of article or a tweet or, you know, a post, and you think you know what you're reading, and you say, oh, you know what, I'm here to contribute, I'm here to show these people that actually know, and you start writing, and it's like, maybe I don't know everything that it is to do with this topic, and you discover as you start writing it, and that's how I feel. <laughs> when I start re- reading this, you know, this comes from uh, uh, Frank Pacho. I think that's how he pronounced him in uh, Francais. Uh, he's um, he's basically one of the dev leads in Yoga Bytes. So, uh, lots of experience here, and that applies as well. Fill with these, you know, the the goats. The greatest of all time of database engineers here, right? So he he basically puts a poll. It's like, what do you think? What do you what what do you call did tuple and Postgres? It's a trick question because I thought I knew what a did tuple is. No, uh, so he says, all right, is it when the x max is less than the current uh, x id, which is the current transaction, right? And or is it when x max is less than x min horizon? So that's the, the X-Men Horizon is basically the minimum smallest number of transaction, the smallest transaction ID that is actually currently running. And that, that horizon is very critical because that will determine whether vacuum can clean up garbage or not, right? Or whether LP flag, which is specifically LP underscore dead flag is set, you know, and that is, is that this? So I said, of course it's this. And yeah, if this is the the second option is correct, then by default, a, a select statement detecting a did tuple, that is a tuple that nobody else ever, ever will gonna use, right? And that is basically, it is either has been deleted, right? Physically deleted or updated. So the old tuple has been updated by xmax uh, transaction and then you move on and as you move on a new transaction starts and we'll look at this tuple says eh, Johan, i'm newer than you you're you're old you know and if you find that nobody else at all needs this tuple then it's declared dead you know because nobody's so it's safer to be deleted and if a select statement actually detect does this check which is quite expensive because you, you have to go to the heap to actually read the x-min and x-max which are these two table two columns and if that's the case then that select statement will actually do does a write which is not very obvious in postgres a select can do io Right, IO. It will actually write to the heap. So careful of that. It will set this LP dead. And it will also set it in the index, the tuples as well, so that future transactions don't go and just uh, them to read the heap all the time. So I thought this is like, of course, the first, first uh, option is basically wrong, right? Because, yeah, my current transaction can be newer. That is, the xmax of this tuple is older than me, but maybe other transaction existing could still need it, right? So we cannot declare this dead. So maybe maybe this one is like, okay, it's dead to me, but it's not dead to others, right? But definitely if this or this. So Matthias is a basically a Postgres maintainer. Yeah, I think he works in Neon DB. It comes back as like, well, that it depends. It's like, ah, oh, come on, it depends on what. So I started reading this, like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> like, because he just like lists all the possibility because he he is basically works with the internals of the database. Right? He knows BG in and out. So he starts listing, like, okay, Xmax not only could be like an actual committed transaction, but it could be aborted. Right? You just rolled back. So, in that case, yeah, even if it's actually newer, it might be aborted, rolled back, that is. So, you really, doesn't, doesn't mean that if it's something is newer, doesn't mean you have to read it or dead. It could be dead in a sense that it has been rolled back. 
So I never thought about that, which makes which makes sense, right? So the other option says, all right, if first the uh, first option is like he agrees, all right, yeah, uh, X factorization may not be visible to your current transaction, but it could be visible to you others. And also he talks about aborted X mens are also included as dead, right? You can insert a record which will only set the X men but there is no X max, right? Then you just, oh, you know what, roll back, or maybe your database crash. Then you are left with an only an X men that you nobody so, should supposed to read this tuple at all. Nobody. It's a dead tuple, despite it not having an X max at all. Yeah. So that's another case. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah, clearly I didn't think this one through, didn't I? Because a third option is like, because a line pointer isn't a tuple, right? So there is an actual line pointer that just isn't assigned anything. Right? That's another option, unused. And I, I didn't really understand the fourth option because the rules apply to every tuple at all the same. Yeah, I try to understand everything, but you know what? So this one is like, a tuple is considered dead if the transaction indicated in X min has has aborted, or if the transaction indicated by X max has committed and has passed the global X min horizon. Right? So it's committed, right? That means it's, this row is either updated or deleted, and that transaction which committed that X max has passed the horizon. The X-Men horizon is really a, a critical concept, by the way. It's, if you think about like a transaction is like a horses, a bunch of horses running, right? And every, the last horse is basically, is, is what's the horizon, it has a number, right? And you don't, anything beyond that is considered, and if it's actually deleted or updated, it's considered dead and it can be safely removed by auto vacuum. Anything above that, you cannot touch it because that horizon still needs that so and so called dead tuple because you might actually need it, right? Because eh, that's MVCZ for you, right? Or if you're looking from a visibility snapshot point of view, if the X Men. X max rules apply within the snapshot as well. So that's another example. Yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to share about this. Like, uh, I'll try to share these like small nuggets of, you know, gotchas uh, in this in this channel, you know, in my second channel from time to time. That doesn't really fit in the first main channel, but no, uh, uh, thought I'll share this with you guys. See you in the next one.